Everybody, good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski. It's been kind of a wet night for some of you, others not so much. The heaviest rainfall in southeast Nebraska. In fact, a flash flood warning will be coming to an end by the time most of you see this. It ends at 8 o'clock this morning in Jefferson County, but most of eastern Nebraska is included in a flash flood watch. That's the dark green, and that is going until 7 o'clock this evening. So all these areas here are under that flash flood watch. Otherwise, a flash flood warning, or excuse me, yes, a flood warning, just a flood warning in eastern Republic County. That's on the edges of the local four viewing area. And then a flood advisory southeastern Lincoln County into far, far northwest parts of Frontier County. So we've had rain. We'll continue to see at least some rain and thunderstorm activity around the area today. Kind of hit or miss and some of it just kind of drifting around. No real steering mechanism for these showers to move real fast. So some isolated localized flooding is not out of the question. Not a lot of severe weather, but can't completely rule it out. Some of that lingering into the evening, but as we get further into the night, the chances of rain will come down by tomorrow morning. Most of us dry, but quite a few clouds and maybe some areas of fog around to start off our Friday. Then as we get into tomorrow, that fog and cloud cover uh, clearing out through the day, more sun in the afternoon. So we start to warm up a little bit out west will be the main focus of a chance of rain and thunderstorms for Friday evening and Friday night. Most of us will stay dry as we head through the overnight hours into Saturday morning. So there's your risk of severe weather for later today. Most of us under a marginal risk of severe weather. This is a low end threat. Most of us will not see severe weather. If we see something, severe wind gusts over 60 miles per hour would probably be the biggest threat. Otherwise, uh, maybe some large hail, but I don't think that's a huge threat. Most of us will not see severe weather. The main threat tomorrow will be out west and marginal risk there for large hail and strong wind gusts. Again, most of us won't even deal with any kind of thunderstorm activity for tomorrow night. Highs for today, mostly in the 80s, a cooler day thanks to the clouds around, a little more sun to the west and southwest, upper 80s and lower 90s here. Uh, your coolest temperatures where the clouds will be thickest. Overnight tonight, falling back into the 60s to near 70 for overnight lows. And then your Friday, we begin to heat it up. Not too hot yet, but mid to upper 80s east, low to mid 90s out west. Tomorrow night, mostly in the 60s, and then we start to feel a little more heat on Saturday, especially out west. Mid to upper 80s to the east, near 90 in the Tri-Cities, and then uh, near 100 out west. So a lot more heat there, and that heat's going to spread east on Sunday. Sunday will be our hot day of the forecast as we check out that three-day and then that seven-day forecast. You see how temperatures will be coming up. We'll be drying things out heading into the weekend. Uh, Sunday will be our hottest day. At least there's going to be a little bit of a breeze. That might help a little bit. And then uh, Sunday evening, Sunday night, that's our next chance of rain and thunderstorms. It's not a guarantee, but there is a slight chance there for rain and thunderstorms. Uh, still maybe another small chance there Monday afternoon into Monday night. As temperatures do come down early next week, closer to average highs in the upper 80s, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. It does look like in the long range we may start to see those temperatures come back up late next week. So a little more heat starts to settle back into the area. But um, as of right now, we still have a couple of pretty decent days out there here and there. Not a ton of extreme heat in most cases out there. Real quick, just because I have a little bit of extra time, let's get a little preview of Sunday. So I'm going to go into the editor mode on this particular graphic and change that Saturday to a Sunday here. So hang tight with me real quick so I can get you that. This is kind of the idea of what Sunday could be looking like temperature-wise. As highs will be well into the 90s, triple digits, especially to the west and southwest, could be as hot as 105 or 106 in some places there to the west around North Platte McCook. Imperial Ogallala. So get ready for a scorcher of a day on Sunday. At least some breezy winds might help a little bit. And then maybe some rain comes in towards the evening to provide a little bit of relief there. Here, So wanted to give you a quick little preview of that just to give you a heads up. Uh, I will not be uh, working tomorrow as David uh, Stoltz, meteorologist David Stoltz, will be filling in for me tomorrow. I'll be back with you on Monday of next week. Then I'm gone again Tuesday and Wednesday. And then I'll be back with you on Thursday and Friday of next week. So kind of off and on over the next six to eight days here. So wanted to give you a quick little heads up on that. But David will be filling in for me tomorrow. And he'll be back a little bit here for next week as well. So, well, there you go. They're getting ready to do weather on TV. That means I have to go to do some TV stuff too. So I want to thank you all for watching on this Thursday morning. I'll see you all again on Monday. Hope you have a great weekend. Talk to you all later. Bye.